Stormbringers. Relics, artifacts, trinkets, and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. I found footprints at Sabrina's execution site. Do you know anything about that? Why would I? You found them, not me. Yet your boots are black from ash. Shh. All right. What do you want to know? Do you believe in the power of your merchandise? You mean the relics? Others believe in them, that's what counts. They'll believe in anything that gives them hope. Soldiers shit their pants and throw up in fear before going into battle. If kissing a rusty nail gives them courage, then in my book, it works. Do you remember the curse that Sabrina placed on the king? When they set the stake on fire, she shouted something to the king. His face went red, but I couldn't hear very well. She probably foretold his syphilis. A gruesome death. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Sure I did. I was in the fifth company. I remember the commotion when that idiot Yahon killed her with a spear. Ah, uh, if only I had that spear now. You know Yahon? Never heard of him. Where'd you get the idea that I know him? Where is Yahan's spear now? I don't know. Besides which, it's none of your concern. I simply won't talk about that. Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Looked like a young nympho, with an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? So long. How did you wind up here? You'll be safe here. Over here, inside the candle. Quick! We're safe here. I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. No, they're alive. They didn't want to risk it anymore, went back to camp. They asked me to give you this coin, for candles. This is but half. Why I'll not do more than braid some wicks for this? What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glevisig's story, that's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. Pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. I've heard a lot of good things about you. All right, 
I'll become a follower. Wonderful. Listen then, for I'll not say this twice. If your intentions are pure, you will do as I ask. Each convert must pass a test. You will spend the night at the old chapel near Sabrina's pupils. Where? Twin lakes I have named in her honor. Is that all? Before you kneel to meditate, you will drink the mixture I shall give you. You must then remember all that occurs. That's very important, as you'll need to recount it to me fully. All right, I'll come back once I'm done. for this.
anybody needs to know about that one. Huh? What other matters? Why do you need so many candles? Why not build a campfire? This is Sabrina's flame. Its light protects us and guides us soldiers every step. Did you rob a convoy of wax sellers? I make the candles myself. I give them to anyone looking for protection within the flame of courage. The valley's been engulfed by a battle of specters. Know anything about it? It's a place of horror. You can still hear the sound of steel and the cries of the dying. If you want to soothe their pain, you have to believe that Sabrina is watching over you benevolently. I won't achieve anything without some memory tokens. Magically active conduits left by those who fell in battle. They're supposed to symbolize faith, courage, hatred, and death. Faith? I don't know what those soldiers believed, but their faith didn't help them. They were deceived. Courage, hatred, and death. There was too much of all of them, especially death. But I remember a knight who, ignoring the danger, led a handful of soldiers against overwhelming enemy forces. Seltkirk of Gullet, Demavan's champion. When Vandergrift's cohort cut him off from the rest of the army, he attacked the visitor fearlessly. If you're looking for a symbol of courage, find Selkirk's armor. Is Jahan still around? Jahan is dead. He didn't deserve to bask in the glory of the Lady. So Sabrina's mercy has limits. You don't know what you're talking about, Witcher. Who are you? Our descendants will decide who we were when they see what we've left behind. I did what you asked. Tell me what you saw. You may think I'm as mad as you are, but in my vision I walked through a forest where the trees were huge mushrooms and a giant chicken walked between them, pecking at the underbrush. You have no idea how happy I am. I've been having this vision of a giant hen among mammoth mushrooms for weeks. I thought I'd lost it, gone insane. Turns out my herbs must have gone off. I need to gather new ones, but that's my concern. Ask me what you will. You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. 
He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Yahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the king? Of course. A well-deserved punishment. A ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The king concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress. Humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake, she suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard. Only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. Now, back to some other matters. Who were you before? What does it matter? Let the sins of youth fade into oblivion. Look at the candlelight. Feel it, and you'll hear what it has to say to you. I can't hear a thing. Then you're not ready. But your time will come. You will then hear and understand. Trust me. Tell me again what you know about Sabrina. What exactly do you want to know? So long. Nice work you did there. What? Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I know you have the spear Yahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that. And I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge, I want coin. And we both need help to get what we want. How much? What are your customary take-ins on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that. The fate of your king depends on that spear. All right, since you put it that way. You see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. Shame, because today it'd fetch a good price. I lost the spear to a soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorveth. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! 
so long. You got a black cat. 